Lots to get to today. Lamborghini is revealing a new Roadster in Geneva. How much are you going to pay for the new Ford Focus RS? I'll inform you. Audi's next A7 will cop some crazy cool new staffs. Top Gear crew in the Amazon. Mm -hmm. And Porsche's 2016 Cayman and Boxster. Well, there's info that I'd like to send your way about those engines. Yeah, Erica. Plus, it's Friday, the last day of the work week. So we'll send it off quickly with some rapid fire news. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> Is that a cat in here? Like, uh, uh, some sort of big leopard? Okay, I guess so. They're allowed today. All right. I'm Derek D. Hey, how you doing? Hi, what's up? Hola, como estas? Que pasa? Hello, bonjour, buongiorno. However you want to say it. You're still watching Fast Lane Daily. He's got what I, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> The 2016 Porsche Cayman and Boxster will get a new set of engines and now we know what to expect from them. The base versions of both sports cars will use a flat Ford 2 liter turbo with 240 horsepower while the hotter S versions will use a 2.5 liter engine making 300 German horses. As for the Boxster GTS and Cayman GTS, those will have the same 2.5 liter flat Ford turbocharged engine but it's tweaked, you know, tweaked a little bit so it can throw down 370 horsepower. The turbocharged motors will use electric systems to eliminate that turbo lag, which can be annoying. I got a little bit of it on my car. As for the Cayman GT4 and Boxster Spider, both will still use 3.8 liter naturally aspirated six cylinders. So those engines all be like, ah, ah, that's what they do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so check this out, the big three, and I don't mean GM, Ford, and Chrysler. I'm talking Clarkson, Hammond, and May. And they have landed in the Amazon. And I don't mean the jungle. I'm talking an all new car show. That's right. It will air exclusively on Amazon Prime with the old Top Gear crew and original executive producer Andy Willman. That's interesting stuff. Also, hearing there may be deals to air the show on local networks as well. So we'll see. Everyone thought Netflix. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, mm -hmm. Amazon Prime was like, I got this. <laughs> The fracas has ended. It has. No more fracas. All right, Audi's got some big changes planned for the next generation A7 Sportback, which should be coming out late next year or early 2017. First off, the design will still be based on a five-door fastback shape. Good, because that's working for me, I gotta tell you. But the styling will be radically different, apparently. The new A7 will be lower, wider, and have a more bold appearance including a single frame grill, LED headlights, and bigger wheel arches. So its stance will probably be pretty cool looking. That stance though, Erica. That stance. That stance. Also, coming, is, coming in is a new engine range and it's going to get a little numbery here, so listen up. You have a two liter turbocharged four cylinder with 252 horsepower. Then you have that same engine with an electric turbo to bring power up to 326 horses and a three liter V6 e-turbo diesel planned with 350 horsepower. The more powerful S7 will use a twin turbocharged 3 liter V6 to make 500 horsepower, and the range topping Audi RS7 will feature a reworked 4 liter V8, good for 575 of these. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Yeah, a little numbery there, but I think, uh, you good? You're good? We're yeah. good? We're good. All right. Ford made a little bit of an oops. Uh, they accidentally revealed pricing information for the 2016 Focus RS. An online configurator briefly revealed that the newest of hot hatches would start at $35,730 and can be optioned all the way up to $42,275, you know, if you add a sunroof, navigation, 19-inch forged alloy wheels, and Michelin Cup tires, the latter costing $1,990. Honestly, though, what's the big deal about the price being leaked? Is anyone actually like, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Ford revealed the price of the Focus RS before they were supposed to. I gotta call the cops. No one's saying that. Don't think so. No one cares. Nope. Everyone's like, oh, that, that's the price? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Like, they, they exaggerate these things. Leaked. Anyway, the 2016 Focus RS will have that 2.3 liter EcoBoost four cylinder making 345 horsepower and a maximum torque figure of what, Erica? 347 pound feet. 
That's right, 347, which is more output than both the Subaru WRX STI's 305 horsepower and the VW Golf R's 292 horsepower. The Focus RS will also use a torque vectoring all-wheel drive system and it will go on sale early next year. Now you may think that torque vectoring is a system that varies the power to each wheel through the differential in all-wheel drive cars, but how it actually works is they have Erica just say the word uh. torque to each wheel. It's true. Uh. When the cars are on the assembly line and the cars just listen to her. Yeah, they fly her all around the world. She's the torque whisperer. It's crazy. Where are you going next? Why did you do this? Hawaii? She's going to Hawaii for Why some did you do Why this? Why would you go to Hawaii? Uh. Did you say Hawaii? Oh, you want to keep it secret. That's right. I, uh, My bad. I, did I let not. it. I didn't mean I forgot about your secret. She's going to Germany next. Okay. It looks like the Roadster version. I'm sorry, Eric. I didn't mean it. Uh, I didn't mean to, you know, break your cover. Please stop. I'm stopping. Sorry. Oof. Looks like the Roadster version of Lamborghini's Huracan. Mmm. <laughs> love it. We'll debut at the 2016 Geneva Motor Show with a folding power soft top. Yeah. Soft top, wax sauce. Just give me the regular version. Thanks. Uh, besides the convertible lid, though, the new Roadster will have the same 5.2 liter V10, making about 610 horsepower and 513 pound-feet of... 413. Oh, 413. What did I say? Five. Yeah, I meant 413. Sorry. Pound-feet of... Is it torque? Yeah. 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 Okay, now you don't want to say it. Nope. Oh, jeez. It will be connected to a seven-speed dual-clutch transmission and an all-wheel drive system that should get it to 60 lickety-split. In about 3.2 seconds, AK. Mm. Pretty fast. It should also cost more than the coupe's hefty $237,250 price tag. You gotta love that Lamborghini Huracan. <laughs> nice. Good punch. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You wanna punch me? Yep. All right, slow down. No way. Because this is where we're gonna speed things up, Erica. Okay. With some rapid fire news. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, it's definitely a panther. De definitely a panther. All right, how you doing? Good to have you. That's Peter the Panther, everybody. Okay, Eric, are you ready? Yep. IndyCar driver Grammer Hall just got himself a Viper Green Porsche 918. Dude must be getting paid and getting laid. A little kid straight up bossing and flossing while drifting on plastic chrome in his driveway at home, going nuts, doing some donuts in his new Corvette Power Wheel. He knows the deal. The, the Ford GT touring around London in a big transparent box, driving up and down different blocks, people taking pictures, having a blast, looking like a gigantic model that was die cast. Want yourself some 32 inch Ford Giotto wheels? Nah, I don't either. No rhymes, they're just whack jack. The 2016 Mercedes C Class Coupe spy with not much camo, but you can see the car is looking pretty sleek. 2016 C Class Coupe on fleek. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay going to be available all day in 2016 Volkswagens. Listen to what I say. Go eat some hay. Make things out of clay. Lay by the bay. I just may. Happy Gilmore reference for the win. Oh man, I'm going in. But that'll do it. I hope I didn't confuse anyone for this edition of Rapid Fire News. That's a good one. Yep. What did, what did Peter the Panther think? That was awesome. Nice. Oh, I got that one. Yeah. No flubs. That was perf. Oh man. Nice. That was a good job, one. No, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I love that little kid drifting in that Corvette. So cute. That's fun. That's a fun watch. Actually, put that link in the description if you guys want to see that again. I find myself watching it over and over. Exactly. <laughs> kind of yeah. like I want that Power Wheels. Yes. All right. All right, well, the question of the day is quite simple. Do you think this new car show with Clarkson, Hammond, and May made the right decision going with Amazon instead of Netflix? Now, Netflix right now is the big dog, I'd say. And Amazon, Amazon's huge, don't get me wrong, but they're you know, their original programming isn't as big as Netflix. So, will this put them on the map? Mm. Maybe. I mean, I'm, it's not gonna be cheap to pay for those guys nope. and for the budget for that show. So, let us know what you think. Hashtag FLDQ of the D is what you're gonna use. And uh, you can email us at tips of fastlanedeli.com. AK, I appreciate that. Thank and you. I appreciate you, AK. I appreciate you, Derek D. Oh, and Erica. A whole Yay. lot. All right, that is gonna do it. For Fast Lane Daily today, I'm Derek D. But before we call it the end of this week, special birthday shout out to big FLD fan, Ali Amar. What's up, man? Your wife told us you guys are both big fans and your birthday is tomorrow, August 1st. So happy birthday, buddy. I appreciate you watching the show. Also, happy birthday to FLD's own Omar Rana right here. Happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, Omar. His birthday is actually not today. It's tomorrow as well, August 1st, so. Happy birthday, man. And happy birthday to everyone else celebrating a birthday today uh, and this weekend. Yeah, there you go. Uh, goodbye now. Be safe. And cops dead.
Lots to get to today. Lamborghini is revealing a new Roadster in Geneva. How much are you going to pay for the new Ford Forkis? Fork yes. Fork oh, uh, Peter the Panther. <laughs> that's not friendly. That's not, a, that's not friendly. Oh, that's my leg.